Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers, and we have an unkeepable hand. Uh, so we will mulligan. Well, that's better, uh, but not great. Man, how do I want to run this? I think I'm going to keep, and I'm just going to dump a Sidewinder. Keep the lead the stampede with the three forest just in case. We're on the draw, so we'll see what happens. Another forest. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Not exactly what you want to see. <clears throat> They didn't crack their Evolving Wilds. Oops. Why didn't they crack their Evolving? Alright, well, we're getting a lot of forests, which is unfortunate. We'll play our Lord. It's the only thing we can play right now. Uh, we're up against some Gruul. Um, so it might die. We're just going to have to lead the Stampede and look for more green creatures, I guess, because they are not giving us our, our planes. They remember to crack it. <clears throat> Passing. It's very interesting. Alright, we're going to Winding Way. I'm still going to hit for creatures. Mm, or should I? Yeah, I still want to hit for creatures. Alright, that's fine. Play out of Viverlance. We at least got some stuff still we can play. And we did miss one planes from that winding way. We would have gotten one planes from that, so... Uh, I think it was still the better thing to uh, just go for creatures, especially since they're going on the removal plan. On my lords... Makes sense. <clears throat> Acid loss. Destroy target land. Search your library for a forest card. Put that on the battlefield. Tap shelf for your library. Going after my lands. Well, you know what? I've got plenty of forests. Plenty of them. So, have at it. Okay. Do I want to play a Lord here while they're tapped, or just lead the Stampede? I think I will just play the Lord, because then next turn we can set up for lead the Stampede with one mana up. Uh, just in case we find, like, one drop creature and we don't necessarily have to discard the hand size. If we do go big on the lead the Stampede here, then we gotta start discarding. I don't really want to do that, so... I'm just gonna play the Lord, and, uh... Start swinging in for some poisonous. And hopefully we draw planes eventually. Some kind of gruel, land destruction, garbage, I don't know. Never seen this played. <clears throat> Abundant, draw a card. Gain a life, absolutely. Going for a lot of lands. We gonna see another land destruction here? Yeah, it looks like another acid. Destroy target land. Poison mold deals two damage to that controller's target. All right. Gruel land destruction. How interesting. They're all like four mana plays, so. 
It, we could have been killing them a lot harder here if uh, <laughs> if we uh, had a planes, but we're making it work. We're making it work. We're going to refill with the lead. See what we get. Uh, don't get much, but we do get a gem hide, which is perfectly fine with me. So we can play that next turn and finally start getting out some stuff. Might take a turn off, uh, but I think we kind of have to at this point. But we can get out of range. We can play gem hide into a sinew, into a plated, get out of range of like lightning bolt if our guys survive. <clears throat> or um, actually we won't be able to do that if they destroy another land which it looks like they're gonna do so yep gem hide is gonna help us a lot here in this matchup passing two cards left in hand all right, gem hide, we're playing you out. Uh, looks like we're just gonna take a turn off here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna play two plated. We can get out of range that way and we're gonna tap out anyways. And we'll slam the sinew next turn. There we go. Good board, good board. And if they keep destroying lands, we got the gem hide out. So many lands. This game would be over by now. Come on. Alright, land destruction. Here we go. Rolling terrain. Rolling terrain equal to the number of land cards in that player's graveyard. One, two, three, four. Cool. This seems like, uh, even though they're all four mana plays, this almost seems better than, like, the mono black version of land destruction. This seems like it actually does some work. I mean, they're dealing us damage, and they're taking out our lands. So, I kind of like this better. If you're going for land destruction, which is just garbage anyways, but, you know. They got one card left in hand, um... Looks like they're just going to go for it. Mine as well. I hit. I get hit for another four. Now they're empty-handed. We can slam a sinew. Won't slam anything else. I'll just put down a sinew and attack in. And start getting in for some good damage, basically. Um, bam. Bam. Look at me, surviving without lands. They didn't even want to see it. They didn't want to go to their next uh, draw step. Uh, that's fine. All right, so. I don't have any enchantment stuff for land destruction. I almost just want to keep the deck as is. Maybe Armadillo Cloak? Nah, that's not even worth it. I don't like have anything in my sideboard for this deck. None of these cards really matter. Maybe a fireball, just for good measure, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep the deck as is. I don't really know. I didn't see any enchantments. Um, if I had sought a land destruction enchantment, I'd bring that in, but I didn't see any, so I'm not gonna play around it. Uh, we're on the draw. We've got a bunch of one mana plays. Do we keep this? Ugh, you know how we do with one mana plays, but I do think this deck is slow. It's land destruction. <laughs> on turn four, though. We can get down plated, plated, sidewinder before they do anything, and then hopefully get a gem hideout. This is risky against land destruction. Plated, plated, sidewinder. 
Get a couple draw steps to draw forest. Play gem hide. Get cranking. Then they start destroying lands. We don't have a ton of power. I'm gonna mulligan. We gotta do it with one landers. Ugh. So one lander two. I'll keep this because it's got power. If we draw one, if we draw one more land, then we've got some power. Uh, we'll get rid of. I kind of want to keep the winding way in case we do need to dig for lands. Like we could go find a bunch more lands. I think that's the right play. I think I'm just going to drop Sidewinder here. See what happens. They kept seven. Rugged Highlands. All right. Now we get a better one drop. But that's turn one down with no land drop. As, as we do with uh, keeping one landers. This may be foolish. And they'll probably be passing for a few turns. Dryad. Whenever you tap him for mana, deals one damage to each opponent. Okay, okay. So they've got some ramp in their deck, which is more concerning now that we've only got one land. Give me a land. Oh, thank goodness. All right. So next turn, they can start land destructuring. Uh, ooh. This is tough. It's tough. So I could play two creatures, or I could play a lord. I think I just want to play a lord here and get it, get it out while we can. And if they do hit a land destruction on us next turn, we can at least play one of our one drops. And they'll definitely go for our blossoming, so we'll, we'll be playing our Viverlin. All they need to do is hit a land drop here, and then they can pop off with Druid and go for it. Oh, that's good. Alright, that gives us an extra turn. One more land would be excellent here. Just give me one more untapped. Doing something. Tapping for green. Ping, ping. They have a three mana land destruction? They do. Okay. All right. Well, we kind of figured that would happen. We just need to draw lands. <laughs> That's what we need to do. That's not a land. But you know what? We're going to work with what we got here. And now they know that we don't have a land drop. <clears throat> okay, well, this is our board, basically. <laughs> Once they kill our other land, then if they've got removal in hand, they can just start shooting down our creatures, which is a bit unfortunate as well. But maybe they just have a land full of land, a uh, handful of land destruction. They don't have any removal, and we can just keep swinging in with predatory. I'm gonna hold up a mountain though, which isn't great. Yep. All right, we're not taking too much damage from that. I'll take a planes for 500, please. Nope. Good old board. Like I said, if they don't have any removal in hand, we might be able to get it done just like this. But because like, what are they going to do now? Now you got three cards in hand, a bunch of land destruction. Sure. Sure. Feel free. Land of War Elves. Well, they got blockers. Oh, that's good. Oh, they got lots of blockers. They had all the ramp. Now our blocks are not so good. 
Or now our attacks are not so, so good. Oh, gosh. Ah, this is lovely. One card in hand. Don't have good attacks now. I mean, they will just double block our predatory. It's not a problem for them. And now it gets to the exciting part of just passing back and forth until I draw something. <laughs> What you got? Cycling. Okay. <laughs> They're just gonna ping me for one. Uh, we got a discard. We will discard a lead the stampede. More elves. Okay. Planes. Alright. Awesome. Now we play flanking. Flanking is our best bet here. Now we can start attacking again. Everything becomes 1-1s. One again, we're just holding out on no removal, but uh, we're racing again. We're doing stuff. One card in hand. My guess, land destruction. Uh, it's too bad we can't play this plated. But we'll see. We'll see. The important part is the Sidewinder now. We can just go through all these 1-1s. One like, it's no big deal. Another Druid. Getting pinged for two. Taking out our lands. Sure. Alright. They're empty-handed. Forest does not really help us. I'll play it in hopes that we can start catching up, but uh, all I need to do is draw one land destruction thing, and that's it. So when do you start chump blocking, is my question. They can ping me for two each turn. That puts me to ten. They're taking it. They're going to go to seven. Gotta watch that poisonous now. We got you up to eight. Eight poisonous, now you gotta start blocking. Alright. I think the game's a wrap. That's what land destruction is. It's just garbage. Sometimes it's a bit concerning, but usually decks like this, it's just... There's... there's You can overcome them so easily. But I like this version. I do like this version. I think it's a stronger version of land destruction than we've seen with mono black. Goodbye land. Tap it. Two damage to me, sure. So now they start blocking. All the Lana War elves will die. So I can't, uh, I can let one thing through. Oh, yeah, you don't do that yet. <laughs> what are you doing? Tapping for mana before blocks. You got nothing in hand anyways. What's the point? Goodbye. 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 And now at this point, I'm just... If I do draw any lands, I'm not going to play any. Just in case they got more of the rolling terrains. Um... If they draw into any of the, more of the rolling terrains, I'm not going to play them out because then they can hit us for more damage and start racing again. But this is going to be their last turn to use these guys anyways. Ah, so I guess we're fine. I'm not worried really about anything. I'm just commentating the possibilities. But in reality, they have to chump block here on the next turn and ping us for two. We'll go to five, but they'll take two and go to nine poisonous. Unless they can find some removal here. Looks like they don't. Again, I'm not going to play that Blossoming right now. We're just going to swing. 
say goodbye to the druids. Oh, no, you misplayed. You had to block first. You had to block first. Alright, that's a wrap unless I have removal. Yeah, you misplayed. Uh, it didn't really matter. It didn't really matter at all. But good game. Good game. Uh, land destruction. <laughs> Sorry, you're not that good. But this is the better deck I've seen, uh, which is pretty cool. But it's still trash because it's garbage. All right, leave a like for a garbage land destruction deck. And leave a comment below what you thought about the match. Make sure to subscribe. Please do. We're almost to 400 now. After we hit 300, like a couple weeks ago, we started boosting up pretty fast so we're almost to 400 please subscribe if you're interested in slivers call of duty match gathering arena simic flash merfolk anything uh we play a bunch of stuff on here uh so please subscribe let's get to 400 and we will see you guys in the next video